Today's the day. Finally came in. Snow performance. Boost cooler, water meth injection for the Volvo. Now I have no clue how any of it goes in, but we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna make a video telling you guys how to do it. So uh, if you don't wanna figure it out yourselves, you can just watch my video. It'd be good for V70Rs and S60Rs. First thing we have to figure out is where everything's gonna mount. And next to my uh, air intake and fuse box, it's just a plastic piece right here that comes out. So I think right in here is where I can mount everything. There should be plenty of room there. But it's just where the things are gonna screw into and hook up to is uh, the problem we have. Those are directions. We're gonna read those and then make a video on how to do it for you lazy people that don't wanna read the directions. Or for the people that are more visual, audible learners, I guess it's a good excuse to not read the directions. Or you're illiterate. So we're gonna make this video for you guys. There's not a lot of room in my engine bay. The only spot is where I just showed you guys where we took that plastic cover off and even then, there's not a lot of room there and not a lot of places to mount any, uh, like the pump. So, a lot of people just use their windshield uh, washer fluid container, but I don't wanna do that. I feel like that's just not, I don't like that. So I'm not sure what this uh, is for, but there's a bracket right here it's connected to. So I think if I remove this bracket and actually move it over here and push this all out of the way, I should have more room over here to put the, uh, the fluid container. And then this over here was connected to this. I'm not, I don't think that'll be in the way too much, but, but we'll see. All right, so we moved this over back on the bracket. That way it's out of the way. We have more space to work with. So we're just trying to figure out what angle. We might be able to get these out. That's what the plastic piece was connected to, if you can see it. That way it gives us a little more room to work with. The little bitch turbo. We're gonna take a trip to Home Depot and get some metal brackets because we have a good idea on how to mount it up and I think it's gonna work out nicely. Got a piece of sheet metal and a couple brackets so we're gonna measure it up to the tank and then get it fitted. So we have two of the brackets in. The tank's gonna go on this side and we're gonna see if the pump will fit on this side. I don't know how anyone else do it. This is just what we figured would be the best just because good open space right here to use. Jesus Christ. All right, because you can't sit around and just do nothing. Got tape on the elbow and we're just screwing it into the tank. So we pulled the intake off just because I think we're gonna tap into this right here. And not into the throttle body. And we're still working on getting the tank and all that mounted up before we start hooking everything up. So we have Hunter over here working on the, the mount. Yes sir. Three bags full. How's it going? Uh, it's going well. So I got marked up right now. And the uh, place is just gonna cut straight across because you don't want no angle. So, angle's bad. Let's see how this thing works. Man. They're still working on those brackets. We're gonna get the boost gauge run. So this is gonna be like a how-to that's kind of jumping around everywhere. So just follow along the best you can. It'll be a good reference video. You can see what we're fucking up on and you guys can do it better. So I've gone ahead and kind of just got it all wired up. Um, I actually wired it to the boost gauge I already have. So we'll see how that goes because I didn't want to tap into another fuse. Now, there's a little uh, piece right here. Half on, half off. This foam piece, just pull out and run the wire through. This is where I have my uh, boost you know gauge ran through as well. And it comes out and through here, through this rubber this uh, rubber gasket piece. I poke a hole through that and I ran the two lines in through that. And it comes up underneath the bolt right here through the fender. And it comes out right here when I get it on the other side of this bracket. That way uh, this piece doesn't pinch them. And then it just runs along with my boost gauge to 
the pump oh. over here where they're still working on getting everything mounted. So we're now recording with my phone because I forgot my extra camera battery and my camera died. It's been welded so it's nicer than just punching a bunch of screws and bolts through. We're still trying to figure out where um, the pump's gonna connect to inside the car. Um, I'm, we're wondering if there's a spot on the throttle body where it'll just screw right, in, right into, but we can't find it. I thought I forgot my battery, but I didn't. I had it this whole time. It was on the floor of my car, and I didn't check there, and I found it while looking for my keys, because now my keys are lost. So we got it in, right it's actually here. looking pretty good. It's all welded on there. Our wires are temporarily oh, taped up. Well, this is just for protection reasons. I, I guess we don't own any electrical tape, but tape does just fine. So we're not gonna actually have it running the meth tonight. We need to find a place to run it in first and get the gauge all figured out. So we're gonna finish getting the wires connected. They're just taped right now and we're gonna get the gauge on and make sure we turn injection off so the pump isn't running with nothing in the tank. Hmm, maybe the car has to be like on on. No, my boost gauge oh, should be. Now? No. No, the power doesn't go through there. Maybe you need to turn the car on. Well, your 12 volts are working. Didn't you just jump off of that? Yeah. Jump off the wrong side? No. You sure? She got a the gauge isn't working, but the pump's also not grounded, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. So it turns out the gauge has actually been turning on, but we've been shining a light at it, so we didn't actually see it on. It's not drawing enough power, so it's super dim, so we gotta find out a different source to get it to to get it more power. All right guys, so we've been at this for four hours. I mean, it's been, let's see, we started probably around four, and uh, it's now 8.48. Um, we also took a trip to Home Depot. Uh, I had to make up a bracket and a whole holding device for not only the container for the, the reservoir, I should say, for the water meth, but also for the pump. Nick had to weld up on the pump for the bracket I made. Um, it always just bit pieces put together through all of us. Uh, James helping wiring a little bit. Uh, Dylan's, like I said, he's just a fucking idiot. But um, he's doing great too. He's figuring out where he's gonna put his boost gauge. He ran some wires through, uh, which is probably one of the hardest and most fucking time consuming jobs is running the wires through the whole guitar car by itself. Um, it's going together, we got together. Um, currently the boost gauge, I don't know if Dylan told you guys this yet, but the boost gauge is, so it's hooked up and we've been shining a light at it because we it's dark and we can't see and we're too stupid to pull a car in the garage that uh, we didn't see it light up because it's so dull because it's not getting enough ampage to light up because he's tapping off a tap, which it's kind of a no-no in electricity world, but it works. So, James realized it after he took the light off and saw a very dull lighting of it. So now we're gonna try to mess around with it, see what we can do to maybe get some light shit on it, pun intended. But uh, yeah, so let me show you what's going on so far. So we got the pump right here. At the reservoir, we got James. What's up? So, uh, that ground right there, and we have the positive going in to Dylan. I get some light. Oh, there's a big light right here. So what we got is so if you guys look at it, we've got the gauge right here, so you can't see lights on it right now. I don't think it's on though. No, it might be actually. So yeah, it actually is on, so if I can take the lights away from it. 
I don't know if I can get you guys in enough. Yeah, you, you can't even see it. It's very dull, but that's where we're at right now. So yeah, just, uh, I would say stay tuned. This is gonna conclude part one because it's not working, so there's gonna be a part two. And this turned into a how-to to what the fuck are we doing? So, hopefully next time we get everything working nice. And we'll have boost juice, because I have nothing to put in it right now. Boost juice. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but we'll, we'll find out when I start driving. So, I appreciate everyone for watching. Stay tuned for part two. This video will be up on Friday, which is gonna be the day you're watching it, so.